Do you charge your phone overnight, you know, plug it in before bed and let it juice up while you sleep? It's super common, but there's this persistent idea that leaving your phone plugged in all night is like slowly killing your battery. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of lithium-ion batteries, debunking some common myths and giving you the best practices to keep your phone's battery healthy and happy for the long haul. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. Or should I say, the phone on the nightstand. Does leaving your phone plugged in overnight really destroy your battery? The short answer is, not really. See, modern smartphones are smarter than you might think. They pack these sophisticated lithium-ion batteries with built-in circuitry that prevents overcharging. Think of it like a safety valve. Once your phone hits that 100% charge, the battery management system kicks in and essentially stops the flow of current to the battery. So, your phone isn't actually constantly charging throughout the night, it's more like it tops off, takes a break, and maybe sips a little bit of power to stay at 100%, kind of like how you might grab a snack in the middle of the night. Now you might be thinking, but MKBHD, what about that trickle charge? Doesn't that still degrade the battery? And it's true, keeping your battery at a constant 100% for prolonged periods can contribute to a tiny bit of wear and tear. But here's the thing, the degradation is minimal. We're talking minuscule amounts compared to the normal wear and tear your battery experiences from everyday use. The engineers who design these batteries and charging systems aren't messing around. They know people charge their phones overnight, and they've built in safeguards to make it as safe as possible. Think about it. If overnight charging really did kill batteries, wouldn't we have seen way more widespread issues by now? Phones have been around for a while and battery technology has come a long way, so rest assured, leaving your phone plugged in overnight isn't going to magically turn your battery into a useless brick. Alright, so we've busted the myth that overnight charging is inherently bad. But that doesn't necessarily mean you charge your phone every night. This is where things get a bit more nuanced. Remember those lithium-ion batteries we talked about? They actually prefer to live in a Goldilocks zone of charge, not too full, not too empty. Ideally, you want to keep your battery level between around 30% and 80%. Think of it like your own energy levels. You probably function best when you're not completely drained, but also not overly stuffed after a huge meal. Constantly draining your battery to 0% and then charging it all the way to 100% puts more stress on the battery and can contribute to faster degradation over time. It's like constantly stretching a rubber band, eventually it loses its elasticity. So what's the best approach? Well instead of plugging in every single night, try to be a bit more strategic with your charging habits. If you wake up with plenty of battery life left, maybe skip the charge that day or just give it a quick top up. And hey, if you forget to charge your phone one night and it dips below 30%, don't freak out. It's not the end of the world, just charge it up when you can, and try to avoid making it a regular habit. Remember, it's all about finding a balance and treating your battery with a little bit of TLC. Let's talk about fast charging, you know, that magical technology that can juice up your phone from zero to hero in what feels like minutes. It's seriously convenient, but it's also surrounded by its fair share of myths and concerns. Some people swear it degrades your battery faster than traditional charging, so what's the truth? Well, like most things in tech, it's a bit more complicated than a simple yes or no. Fast charging in a nutshell involves pushing higher currents into your battery at a faster rate. This generates heat, and heat, as we know, can be the enemy of electronics. Excessive heat can accelerate battery degradation over time. However, and this is a big however, modern smartphones are designed with sophisticated thermal management systems. These systems monitor the battery's temperature during fast charging and regulate the current flow to prevent overheating. So, while fast charging does generate more heat than standard charging, it's generally within safe limits thanks to these built-in safeguards. That being said, it's still a good idea to use fast charging judiciously. If you're constantly blasting your battery with high currents, even with thermal management, it can contribute to slightly faster wear and tear over the long run. Think of it like this. You can drive your car fast occasionally without causing too much stress, but if you're constantly redlining the engine, it's going to take a toll eventually. All right, now that we've debunked some common charging myths, let's get practical. It's time to dive into some actionable tips that can help you extend the life of your phone's battery. Whether you're a heavy user or just want to make sure your phone lasts through the day, these strategies will come in handy. 
Here are a few tips to help you squeeze out even more life from your phone's battery. 1. Embrace the dark side, mode. Dark mode isn't just a trendy feature, it can actually save a significant amount of battery life, especially on OLED screens. One of the biggest battery drainers is your phone's display, especially if you're rocking a bright OLED screen. These screens are known for their vibrant colors and deep blacks, but they also consume a lot of power when displaying bright colors. Switching to dark mode whenever possible can significantly reduce power consumption. 2. Dim the lights. If you're not quite ready to go full dark mode, at least try turning down your screen's brightness. If you're not quite ready to go full dark mode, at least try turning down your screen's brightness. You'd be surprised how much battery life you can save by just dimming things a bit. It's a simple adjustment that can make a big difference over time. 3. Keep it cool. You'd be surprised how much battery life you can save by just dimming things a bit. Heat is another major enemy of battery life. Remember how we talked about heat being bad for batteries? Well that applies to more than just charging. Excessive heat can cause your battery to degrade faster, reducing its overall lifespan. Avoid exposing your phone to extreme temperatures whether it's scorching sun or freezing cold. Both extremes can be detrimental to your battery's health. 4. Silence the noise. Notifications, while convenient, can also be battery drainers. Every time your phone lights up or vibrates it uses a bit of power. Notifications, while convenient, can also be battery drainers. Take some time to customize your notification settings and silence any unnecessary alerts. This can help reduce the constant drain on your battery. Take some time to customize your notification settings and silence any unnecessary alerts. 5. Update with caution. Software updates can sometimes improve battery life but they can also sometimes make things worse. Software updates can sometimes improve battery life but they can also sometimes make things worse. It's generally a good idea to wait a bit after a major update is released to see if any battery issues are reported before you hit that install button. It's generally a good idea to wait a bit after a major update is released to see if any battery issues are reported before you hit that install button. This way, you can avoid any potential problems that might come with the new software. 6. Mind your apps. Some apps are notorious battery hogs, even when they're running in the background. These apps can drain your battery without you even realizing it. Keep an eye on your battery usage stats and see if any apps are consistently draining more power than they should. If you notice any culprits, consider limiting their usage or finding alternatives. 7. Turn off the extras. Features like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and location services can be convenient, but they also consume power. If you're not using them, turn them off. Features like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and location services can be convenient, but they also consume power. If you're not using them, turn them off. This can help conserve battery life throughout the day. If you're not using them, turn them off. 8. Give it a break. Just like you need a break from work or studying, your phone can benefit from a little downtime too. 8. Give it a break. Just like you need a break from work or studying, your phone can benefit from a little downtime too. Consider turning it off completely for a few minutes each day or at least putting it in airplane mode when you don't need to be connected. Consider turning it off completely for a few minutes each day or at least putting it in airplane mode when you don't need to be connected. This can help your battery last longer and give your phone a chance to cool down. Consider turning it off completely for a few minutes each day or at least putting it in airplane mode when you don't need to be connected. 9. Avoid extreme charges. We talked about the Goldilocks zone of battery charge. Try to keep your battery level between 30% and 80% as much as possible. We talked about the Goldilocks zone of battery charge. Try to keep your battery level between 30% and 80% as much as possible. This can help prevent unnecessary stress on your battery and extend its overall lifespan. 10. Choose your charger wisely. Not all chargers are created equal. Using a low-quality charger can damage your battery and reduce its lifespan. Not all chargers are created equal. Use a reputable charger that's specifically designed for your phone model. This can help ensure that your battery is charged safely and efficiently. Use a reputable charger that's specifically designed for your phone model. By following these tips, you can help keep your phone powered up longer and ensure that your battery stays healthy for as long as possible. Remember, a little bit of care can go a long way in extending the life of your phone's battery. So, after all that, where do we stand on the whole overnight charging debate? Well, the truth is it's not as black and white as some people make it seem. Modern smartphones are equipped with safeguards to prevent overcharging, so leaving your phone plugged in overnight isn't going to instantly kill your battery. 
However, constantly keeping your battery at 100% can contribute to slightly faster degradation over the long term. The key takeaway here is balance. It's all about finding a charging routine that works for you and your lifestyle while also being mindful of your battery's health. If you consistently wake up with plenty of battery life, maybe skip the overnight charge or just give it a quick top up. And if you do need to charge overnight, don't stress about it too much. Your phone can handle it. The most important thing is to be aware of the factors that can impact your battery's lifespan and to adopt charging habits that promote long-term battery health. Remember, a little battery care can go a long way in keeping your phone powered up and performing at its best for years to come. So, there you have it, the truth about overnight charging and some practical tips to maximize your phone's battery life. Remember, it's all about finding a balance between convenience and battery health. What are your charging habits? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and insights. Until next time, keep your batteries charged and your tech game strong.